bring Brooklyn's regrets, but she won't be joining us today. Is everything okay? What, what is more important than her job? Brooklyn is fine. She's just needed elsewhere, okay? And so where is the other dynamic mother-daughter duo? I'm sure they'll be here soon. Hey, how is everything going, Lois, overall? I mean, we are getting all positive feedback about your department store appearances. Oh, oh, that makes me so happy because I am having a blast. I mean, it's helping me hone my skills, getting me ready for all those woman art appearances. Oh, oh, funny story, okay? So I'm at Wyndham's the other day, and this woman comes up to me, and she's raving about Blaze and telling me how proud I should be of her because she thought that I was Blaze's mother. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> no, I can't. What is it now, Alexis? Are you upset about something else? I've been upset since you've managed to turn a job I never really loved into a job that I really, really hate. Anyway, I quit. <laughs> we have a contract. Alexis. Do we? No, we don't. Never had one. Sean and I didn't really need one because we trusted each other. And the reason I never brought it up to you is for just this very reason. And I kind of wish that we did since a contractual dispute with you would be a really cool warm up now that I've got my law license back. What? Alexis? That's incredible. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations, Alexis. You were born to argue. At least now, it won't be with me. Good luck and goodbye, Alexis. I have to go inform Adrian DeWitt that he's being promoted as acting editor-in-chief. Effective immediately. I think that went very well, don't you? You sure seem to enjoy it. I'm not very happy about her handing the paper over to DeWitt, though. He was the bane of my existence. You have some regrets, though, don't you? Some mixed feelings after all the work you did at The Invader, reframing it, elevating his reputation. You did that, Alexis. You should feel proud. I do. Thanks. I mean, it wasn't Camelot, but it did have some shining moments. Anyway, I'm gonna let you get back to what you were doing. Not until I tell you that watching Nina try to recover after you cut her down to size, that... It was the most fun I had all week. Thank you. You just Sunny. Uh, I just want to thank you for looking out for Gia. Of course, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a special kid. Uh, I mean, he's talented and all, but, he, you know, he's, he's you know, a special kid. What's your point? Well, uh, I, I've known Cirillo's my whole life, and Gio's like, you know, family. And I think it'd be best if you didn't give him your personal views on me and what I do. I think it would be better just to leave the subject of me out of the equation. Well, it's clear that Gio puts you on a pedestal, so... I have not shared my opinions of you with him, Good. and I don't expect that to change. You know, I regret ever trying to open Christina's eyes about you. It was not my place, and you are her father, and she's entitled to those illusions. So I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Gio finds out the truth about you, it'll be because of something you did. Tell you, Ava, I don't keep tabs on Sunny Quintos. You and Joss are so close, right? I mean, you've spent a lot of time with Dex, too. There's got to be something you've heard that I can use. Use for what? To protect myself and Avery. Sunny said that I should expect to hear from his attorney, right? And that means that he's going for full custody. But I, I, okay, I understand that. Please, I, please, I need you to be my eyes and ears, okay? Please, just listen to Joss and pass on anything she says about Sonny. It's only a matter of time before he tries to revoke our shared custody. He wants to take my baby. I can't let that happen. 